Straight ahead, you probably know someone whose family has been affected by drunk or impaired driving. This woman is saying enough is enough after losing two people in her family. How she's making Indianapolis safer for all of us. Plus, many families in our area are struggling right now with basic necessities. How a teacher is changing the lives of her students and their families in and out of the classroom. And it's an approach to breaking addiction you have probably never seen before. How one woman is fighting for her life while saving the lives of others in the process. And one community who many gave up on, while well, they're banding together, turning negative stereotypes into positive progress. You're going to see that collaboration in action, one single mission at a time. And now, on to a special hour dedicated to our Central Indiana community heroes. And happy holidays to all of you. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Fanchon Stinger, along with Brian Mills, the CEO of Community Health Network. Brian, welcome. Well, thanks, Fanchon, and Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. I'm so glad you're going to spend this next hour with you. It's going to be a fantastic time well spent. We are going to spend this next hour celebrating the best of Central Indiana. We asked you to nominate people you think or you think deserve the Community Hero Award. And boy, did so many of you respond. You're going to meet all of the community heroes from 2015. We're going to show you where they are now and how their life, organization, or initiative changed after being honored by Fox 59 and Community Health Network. The best part about these heroes are, is yet to come. These are everyday Hoosiers who will inspire you, challenge you, and touch your heart. Yeah, we have some great stories to share with everyone today, Brian. Our January 2015 Community Heroes of that month, well, it was Lindsay and Grant Romine. This mom and dad started the Believe Foundation in honor of their little girl. Today, they are bringing joy to some very special families. A stretch limo and a VIP welcome to the Indianapolis Zoo. All this for four-year-old Deshay Day and her entire family. Can we sing you guys? Oh, absolutely. It's so nice to meet you. Little Deshay is buzzing around Indy, courtesy of the Believe Foundation giving sick children and their families a day away they will never forget. Through our foundation, we were able to send them on a trip um, where they're gonna enjoy a day at the zoo and do a paddle boat ride on the canal and also go to their favorite pizza place. The Believe Foundation is the brainchild of Lindsay and Grant Romine, founded in honor of their beautiful daughter, Henley. Diagnosed at 18 months, she bravely fought a rare cancer for three years. This is her family's way of honoring Henley's life and keeping the memory of her fun-loving spirit very much alive. Whenever she was feeling well, we would try to get away for a day and make memories. These trips are hopefully help, helping these families make lasting memories that they'll be able to cherish for a lifetime. Every special moment is photographed and a personalized album presented to each family. You got a good picture. It was something like a mini vacation, you know, within the, the, the tribulation, if you will. We needed that. She needed that break to get out and enjoy life as a kid. Give me a high five. All right. <laughs> we just kind of coined the phrase believe, and we just really believed in her. We believed in miracles. We believed in hope, and we still do. So to Grant, Lindsay, and Cooper, for turning heartbreak into blessings that are inspiring so many children and their families. We congratulate you on being January's Community Hero of the Month. And we are so excited about this update because little Deshay got her miracle. She is cancer free today and recovering well. The Believe Foundation is granting more buzz around Indy with trips for children and families battling cancer. They sure are. And perhaps the best update about this story is that this family just welcomed a new daughter, Crosby Henley Romine, to the family. She was born in November, so we want to send a big congratulations to the Romine family. To support the foundation or to refer a family, go to this story at fox59.com slash community hero. All right. Well, here's a question. How do you give a family hope when they've fallen on hard times? How do you inspire a young person to press on when the odds seem to be against them? Well, our February 2015 Community Hero is inspiring hope by planting seeds of success and bringing together an entire community. 
This is the busiest place in Warren Township on a cold Saturday morning, the Sunny Day Community Center. A simple idea born out of compassion and now a thriving mission. It starts with Carissa Dollar, an instructional assistant here at Raymond Park Intermediate Academy. She decided to do something after noticing many of her students don't have the basics. It's very sad when we see that we have kids that are still coming to school hungry, that are coming to school in clothes that aren't clean or that don't have the proper clothes to fit their uniform. So two years ago, Carissa went before the school board with an idea to start a pantry for the students and families in her building. The administration got behind her, giving her use of this space, the Sunny Day Community Center. And it took us a few months to get up and get moving at that point. And then at the beginning of the 2013-2014 school year was when we started doing distributions. At first, it was just clothing and school supplies for her school. Well now, twice a month, the pantry serves families in the entire Warren Township School District. Today, Carissa has partners like Gleaners for fresh food and produce, Once Upon a Child for clothes. It's very humbling and very overwhelming um, when we see kids come in and see how grateful they are for simple things like toilet paper to take home and how excited they are when they can maybe get a little something extra when we happen to have things like cake and donuts. It fuels the fire to continue growing for Carissa and volunteers like Jill, who nominated Carissa for this honor. You can see her, her love and her passion for people and her students. So Carissa, for giving hope to so many families and to teaching our young people that you can overcome obstacles. We are so proud at Fox 59 and Community Health to present you with February's Community Hero of the Month Award. Congratulations. Okay, so listen to this. In February, the Sunny Day Pantry had served more than 150 families, almost 1,000 people. As of last month, they've now served 1,289 families and more than 6,000 people have been fed and clothed through a growing number of Sunny Day outreach initiatives. They are reaching so many families and if you would like to support the Sunny Day Pantry or get involved, just go to the Warren Township Council of PTA's Facebook page. All right, so for March, we were flooded with nominations from several communities, all for one man. We wanted to know more about the person that was moving so many people to nominate him. Well, here's what we found out. Uh, were you in the Marines? Yes, I was. I respect that, sir. Thank you. That's very cool. Think you can figure out the story here? Let's take a closer look. Tim Watts, a lifetime Hoosier, a Marine vet. He had a good job, a nice house, a wife, and three children. But after 22 years of marriage, his wife left him. And it just broke my heart. And I just walked away. I didn't fight. He went into a deep depression, lost jobs, struggled with anxiety, drugs, and alcohol. I do have misdemeanor convictions for PIs and DUIs and stuff like that on my record. He was bitter, angry, and homeless. And I turned my back on God for that seven year period after the divorce. I just, I literally cursed him every day for seven years. Then last year, seconds from committing suicide, this happens. A voice I hadn't heard in about seven years because I've been cursing him for seven years said, son, I got this, calm down, I got this. And that's where this plan developed out of, was that night, my, a long conversation with God. So Tim is still homeless, yes, but now he's homeless by choice, and he's committed to that plan God put in his heart, raising awareness for the homeless and hungry in Indiana. So four months ago, he started out in Indy. So far, he's traveled to these counties, and over the next two years, he'll spend at least one week in every Indiana county, sharing his story and donating money to local charities in that area. I just put one foot in front of the other. God provides the, the rest. So now police officers look out for him, churches, strangers, even restaurants are helping his mission. A sleeping bag, blankets, just about everything in his cart, even this laptop, all acts of kindness along the way. His Harry Hippie Facebook page documents his journey. Tim never asks for anything, but if people give money, he keeps just enough to eat and the rest he donates to homeless shelters and pantries in that community. I want people to focus more on the local people in their areas and help those, those charities that are helping those people. Well, we are catching up with Tim today in Wells County, still on his journey. And Tim, Fox 59 would like to honor you today. So congratulations on being this month's Community Hero of the Month. Well, thank you very much. Oh, 
Power in the Woods. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words, but thank you very much. As you can see there, Tim was truly touched, and I actually asked him if he would like help getting a job. He told me yes, but not until he completes the mission and commitment he made to God first, and then he'd like to work with young people who are struggling. So I have checked in with Tim several times, and he was still determined to finish his goal. And uh, Tim definitely heard that call. Yeah. And uh, he's now on a mission. He's on a mission. And he's going to finish it. Yeah. And we are all praying that he finishes it and finishes it well. So we will continue to check in with Tim and let people know how he's doing. Well, coming up, a man is helping an entire community break down barriers to education. He is inspiring college students to get out of the classroom and give back. You're going to see it in action. Plus, if you or someone you know is struggling to find a job right now, listen up. How one man is putting a mission in movement, giving Hoosiers the keys to land a job and succeed. And helping teenagers reach their full potential. You're going to meet a group of women coming together, turning hopelessness into rays of hope. Stay with us. We're just getting started. Every month, Fox 59 and Community Health Network asks you to nominate someone you think deserves recognition for the extraordinary things they do to give back and serve others. You responded in such a big way in 2015. Our community heroes remind us that it only takes an idea and determination to make a difference in someone else's life. That's right, and our community hero for April was inspired by an old Ethiopian proverb. A spider by itself can't accomplish much, but many spiders spinning webs together, well, they can catch a lion. Check it out. All this excitement is because of one man, his team of volunteers, and his passion to help these students excel in the classroom and in life. So what are the two numbers you're going to divide? Tom Lang fell in love with tutoring during his 34 years at Eli Lilly. After retiring a year and a half ago, Tom turned his passion for tutoring into the Lion Catcher program, based on an Ethiopian proverb that Principal Sean Taylor is embracing at Fox Hill Elementary School. That if enough spider webs unite, they can catch a lion. Trying to give um, everybody in our community a chance at success and, and help them reach their full potential. And a lot of times, some parts of our population don't have all the opportunities to reach their full potential. We're trying to find those barriers and get rid of those barriers. So Tom created a coalition with Washington Township Schools, Butler University, and his church, St. Luke's. Now Tom and his army of volunteers are weaving together webs of resources, providing a way for every student to reach his or her full potential. Here's how. He coordinates volunteers to work alongside teachers, giving students extra encouragement and instruction. Which one do you think it does? That's good, high five. Good job. Then after school, we joined another team of Tom's volunteers. They're from North Central High School, Rebrough High School, and several churches, all checking in to help students with homework. And the excitement on the kids' faces, so we tutor second, third, and fourth graders, trying to integrate a lot of great programs and solve a big problem for the community. And in addition to tutoring, Tom takes tutoring and programming into the neighborhoods where these students live. We also run soccer programs with those kids in their apartment communities, but also in their schools. The Lion Catcher program is now translating into more parent involvement and student success. They feel like there's people in their community who value them and love them and want to see them do well. On behalf of Fox 59, we would like to congratulate you for being our Community Hero of the Month, for not giving up on these young people, oh and to helping gosh. them overcome. So, congratulations. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you so much. I had no idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. And as you know, Brian, he was truly surprised. And boy, is he a humble hero. He definitely is. And since that story aired in April, the Lion Catcher program continues to expand. Butler University is working closely with Tom in the school district to make the program available to other Washington Township schools. And we are definitely going to keep in contact with them. You know, every community hero we honored in 2015 works tirelessly to change lives and offer hope. 
they also inspire us to overcome life's challenges when it seems the odds are against us. In May, we surprised a group of ladies who are setting young people on the road to success, giving back in their own unique way, just because they care. It's prom night, time to shine. But for Michaela Winfield, Warren Central Prom is not just about the transformation to red carpet ready. It's about the transformation inside and out. They helped us like come out of our like shell. Michaela is much more confident these days, and it's all because of the sun rays. This group of women building confidence and self-esteem in the young people they mentor. We want them um, self-value, self-respect, dedication, um, God-fearing, learning to love themselves and loving to learn others. Well, it really encouraged me to like do the same thing and try to help others that need help like I do. The Sunrise was started by Champagne Rose. All professional women, including teachers, nurses, medical assistants, you name it, they spend Mondays with young people at the Boys and Girls Club and additional personal time with high schoolers like Michaela. They do service projects, toy drives, fundraisers, all ideas the Sunrays come up with and fund themselves. For prom season, they donated close to 25 dresses so every student could go to prom. I want to let them know that they don't have to deal with stuff by themselves and that we are here. The Sunray message is simple. That you don't have to be what you see on TV. You don't have to be the rapper or the singer or the model or any of that. That there's people like us who's medical assistant, nurses, teachers, you know, all that, that have great lives and it's okay to work hard and struggle sometimes to get there. So for prom, Michaela and her friends get their hair, makeup, nails, dress, and jewelry, all courtesy of the sun rays, even VIP transportation. To be able to see someone else off to their prom is exciting. And for this group of ladies sharing their life experiences and being a ray of sunshine in the lives of so many young people, a special surprise thank you from our partner and the CEO of Community Health Network. We are so pleased to recognize you as a, and all the sun rays, but especially you, Champagne, as our community hero for the month of May. Thank you. Congratulations. That was a, such a fun day. Michaela is on the road to success and to becoming a pediatrician. As you can tell, I had the pleasure of meeting the Sunrays and Champagne and her group were so inspiring. Uh, they just uh, wrapped up a holiday toy drive providing toys and clothes for children throughout Indianapolis. And we do salute them as always. And like you said, it was a fun day. <laughs> you can't beat it. Well, straight ahead, you are about to meet a very special member of the Carmel Fire Department. It's two community heroes in one a beloved character you've probably seen in the community, and the brave firefighter who brings him to life. Also, a young boy shows us how he's using his birthday to pay it forward, how his example is inspiring other young people and making our community better for all of us. Don't go away. Welcome back and Happy New Year to all of you. You know, we have been reacquainting you with our 2015 Community Heroes. And Community Health Network partners with us here at Fox 59 to introduce you to extraordinary people right here in Central Indiana. Community Health Network CEO Brian Mills is here with me today. And Brian, I know honoring our Community Heroes here in Central Indiana is special to you and it's close to your heart. Um, Fancher, without a doubt, it's special to me. Yeah. Um, and it's very special to our organization. You know. Community Health Network is part of the fabric of Central Indiana, and we're here to help people. But there's a lot of other people that are out here helping people as well. Uh, they do it in kind of low profile, yes. And but they're here on some mission to help others, and we're finding out about them, and we're telling you about them. Yeah, we are, and because these are people who are blessing so many people throughout, and it just makes that reach bigger than you and I could ever do with our organization. So we're excited to be a part of this. You know, one thing I've noticed, Brian, is that each of our community's heroes, they are truly unsung heroes. They're not looking for the spotlight. They want to do something right. special because it's in their heart. And in fact, it takes a true unsung hero to bring our June community hero to life. Check it out. Hi, I'm Sparky the Fire Dog. Let me and Sparky is everywhere. <laughs> Cheering on teams at the plane pole, high-fiving the little kids and the big kids too. 
A Carmel High School football game, community events, parades, Sparky is everyone's favorite fire dog. Never far from home base, the Carmel Fire Department. Uh, it is difficult to put into words uh, his importance and the role that he has played in this department. Ready yet, Sparky? Are we ready to go? Sparky spends most of his time teaching fire safety to the kids. And one of his biggest events, the Hoosier Burn Camp Ride. Leaving the Carmel Fire Department and traveling all the way to Lafayette, raising thousands for kids who've suffered burns so they can go to summer camp and just be a kid having fun for a day. Sparky is always the life of the party. Sparky's the epitome of a great volunteer. He is the most upbeat, always happy, always looking at the positive side of things. And to bring Sparky to life takes a very uniquely giving person, one who's a veteran firefighter of 34 years. Uh, he's kind of a throwback to the old school firefighters who work in their community, who protect their community, who want to make a difference in their community. And Sparky never misses an opportunity to put a smile on a little one's face, even in the most difficult times. Uh, there are times where he's told me he's been moved to tears under his costume, under his Sparky outfit. He's not a dog of many words, but his humble heart has touched countless lives. So when we showed up with Community Health Network to honor our favorite fire dog, it was a chance to thank a very special unsung hero. Sparky, thank you so much for your service. And on behalf of Community Health Network and Fox 59, I want to honor you with this Community Hero of the Month. So thank you very much, Sparky. Congratulations, Sparky. We salute Sparky and we thank Captain John Moriarty. After 34 years, he was planning to retire, but now we've learned he has decided to put his retirement on hold. He is still giving back, still volunteering his time as Sparky to make so many people smile. The Carmel firefighters are happy that he is still on that team. After that story aired, Captain Moriarty was honored with the Carmel Rotarian of the Year Award for his service as Sparky and a dedicated firefighter. And he never loses energy. He always has energy to keep on going. Well, straight ahead, it's an approach to breaking addiction that you have probably never seen before. We're gonna show you how one woman is fighting for her life, but she's also saving other lives at the same time. And a young boy shows us how he's using his birthday to pay it forward. See why his example is getting the attention of other young people here in central Indiana and making our community that much better. Don't go away. Happy New Year to you once again. We are saluting our 2015 community heroes. I'm Fanchon Stinger. And I'm Brian Mills with the Community Health Network. We hope you're inspired by the community heroes we've honored in 2015. These heroes remind us that Central Indiana is strong because Hoosiers are so giving. That's right, they are. And you know, so many of you give your time, you give your talent, you give your resources and your heart. You know, drug abuse and addiction, it affects all of us. It destroys families and ultimately it destroys our communities. You're about to see what happens when one lady decides to help young women break the cycle of addiction one person at a time. Children hurting, teens dying, families torn apart. Alcohol and drug abuse touches every part of our community. I was just a very selfish individual. Um, I felt like I amounted to nothing. Brandy Reed was a meth addict for 16 years. Her daughter still suffering developmental side effects because of it. But today, Brandy is a mom who's clean and on the right track, dedicated to her family. It is a far cry from where she was just two years ago in jail, facing 80 years in prison. There was a phrase on the bottom of my bunk in the county jail. I said, this too shall pass. That was my, one of my very first questions to her. What does that mean? And so she showed me through scripture that um, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Brandy's answer and transformation came through Tammy Tidd, an unassuming woman with a huge heart. She is an awesome, amazing lady. Her energy, the unfailing energy this woman has. In addition to her family, work, and her church, Tammy is also a jail chaplain taking the Celebrate Recovery program inside the Boone County Jail. She spends hours mentoring and encouraging many of the young women society has given up on. 
showing them how to overcome struggles with alcohol and drug addictions that lead to a life of chaos. The sad thing is a revolving door. There's so many girls that come in and out, you know. Um, there's just not enough help to people to help them, to mentor them, to see change. Tammy's message? For one, you're not a bad person. You matter to God. You know, your life can be different. She spent a lot of time, a lot of quality time. Every Monday night she would come out and mentor me for hours, it seemed like um, endless hours, just leading me through the Bible. And six months ago, when Tammy was diagnosed with stage three cancer, it looked grim. She was too sick to make it to the jail. That's when all of these letters and prayers started pouring in from so many girls at the jail, the girls she spends hours discipling. It was now their turn to take the lessons she's taught them and encourage and pray for her. This is Tammy's cancer-free celebration, and one surprise Fox 59 and Community Health Network is so excited to pull off. Tammy, on behalf of Community Health Network, for the month of June, you are our community hero. You're so deserving. I love these girls. I want to touch someone's life. My life has been changed, and I know how that feels. Well, we are happy to report that Tammy is doing well. Right now, she is still recovering, but she's raising money to start a recovery house for women serving Boone and Marion counties. And Brian, you know, this story reminds us that we can have such a powerful effect on other people's lives if we just take the time to show people that we care. Yeah, as far as Brandy, Brandy is now committed to helping other young women break the cycle just like Tammy helped her. That's right, they are a dynamic duo, for sure. Well, another thing we saw in 2015 is our communities come in all ages. How do you teach our children that they too can be part of making this world a better place? Well, you develop in them a heart to serve. Our August community hero just turned 10, and he invited us to his birthday party to show us how he's changing his community. Happy birthday to you. Alex Griffith just turned 10, and this is quite the football-themed celebration, complete with members of the state champion New Pal High School football team. Yeah, they're running a few special drills for the birthday boy and his friends. It is tons of fun with all the usual birthday trimmings, except presents. Every year since his fifth birthday, Alex picks a charity, and instead of presents, his friends donate to the charity Alex is choosing that year. Because sometimes people don't have exactly what they need to start their organization, or if they do, they just like help from young people. I'm only 10, but I can still make a big difference. And this year, he's making a difference, helping the animals at the Frenzy Animal Rescue in New Pal. Why frenzy? I got one of my dogs from there and he turned out to be great. <laughs> Alex contacted Frenzy. He found out what they need and mom helped with the invitations for his friends, asking for specific donations instead of presents. Alex even set up shop at the New Pale Community Fest so everyone in the community can donate. Donations like bleach, toilet paper, uh, towels, food, like treats and stuff like that, collars. It makes me a little emotional um, because it is, I, I'm very proud of him. Yeah. Um, and we, when we started this, we didn't really think that it would get like it has. This is my fifth one and it's a really big deal for me. And in five years, Alex has sent care packages to an army platoon in Afghanistan, his cousin's Navy platoon, toys for sick children, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and now Betty and the animals at Frenzy. That means a lot because he's given up his gifts to give to the dogs that we have in the shelter. There's not many 10-year-olds that will do this. Hey Alex, thank you for being a role model for your family, for your friends, and for the entire community. And on behalf of Fox 59 and Community Health Network, I'd like to present you with this Community Hero of the Month Award. Thank you. Congratulations and happy birthday. When one person does it, it's like a sickness. When one person does it, another person does it, and it keeps on mutating until it evolves to be massive. And people keep doing it, and one day the world will be a great place. 
Now, as you can tell right there by Alex, his favorite subject is science. So in his words, the example that he is setting is indeed mutating and spreading. <laughs> He's inspiring so many others. <laughs> and Alex is setting a great example for his peers. After seeing his story, many of his friends and other young people were inspired to choose a charity and donate their birthday gifts to good causes. We are proud of Alex for setting the bar high for his peers, and we're proud of those young people for following Alex's lead. That's right, and we wish them continued success. All right, chances are, you know, you know someone whose family has been affected by impaired driving or drunk driving. Straight ahead, she says enough is enough. You're going to see how one woman is making a lasting impact on drunk and impaired drivers after losing two people in her family. And if landing a job is tough for someone you know, we've got a great solution. You need to see how one man is giving Hoosiers the keys they need to get a job and succeed. We'll be right back. Well, Happy New Year and welcome back once again. Community heroes have a unique ability to see a problem, identify a solution, and persevere no matter how challenging the odds may seem. To understand why September's Community Hero is so special to thousands in Central Indiana, you need to first meet Sherry. Yeah, Sherry is a government contract mm -hmm. specialist. She served our country overseas for almost a decade, but when she returned home, she found she couldn't find a job for more than two years, even though she has a master's degree. Watch this. Meet Sherry. She manages the government contracts here at Twig Corporation in Martinsville, where they build aerospace components for the military and commercial companies. This is Sherry. Sherry is used to the busy days and high pressure deadlines, but earlier this year, she was out of work and feeling the financial pressure to get back in the game. That if you use the strategies and techniques that are taught, you will find that you will be employed much sooner rather than later. Enter. Earl Hart and the Passport to Employment team. I branded myself, I used the necessary tools and the recommendations from Mr. Earl Hart and 30 days later I landed a position. I have recent high school graduates, I have people that have PhDs, I have people ages 18 and we put an 84 year old gentleman to work. Passport to Employment is nothing like your average job placement service. Mondays, it's the basics. Advanced job search skills, rebranding yourself, interviewing, crisis, and financial counseling, or just adding the right buzzwords to a resume. Then Earl takes it to a whole nother level. Tuesdays, he creates networking and workshops with employment agencies, recruitment firms, and top management from Indy's companies. And all of this comes free of charge with a unique accountability system. We have accountability groups, groups of four to eight men and women that get together on a weekly basis to support one another. Yeah, like saving three families from foreclosure, coordinating emergency health insurance for people in between jobs. It is tangible hope, and Earl has a unique gift for helping people get results. But he has a passion for serving people. That's when he realized retirement it's going to look a lot different than he expected. And I said to my wife, isn't it a shame that somebody doesn't help the unemployed? And she looked across the table at me and said, so what are you doing with the rest of your life? Our only expectation is, is that once you find that you are now gainfully employed, that you come back and bring cookies so we can celebrate with you. It's wonderful impacting somebody's life and not expecting anything in return. On behalf of Community Health Network and Fox 59 News, we celebrate and congratulate you for being our September Community Award winner. Thank you very much. And as of today, Earl and his team have helped almost 3,000 people find full-time and part-time jobs, and they are not slowing down, Brian. No, right now, Passport has 633 active people in their program. Their average attendance is 40 to 45 in the evening. They are truly changing lives. Yes, they are. Well, in October, we honored two community heroes, Terry Triplett and Ivory Dewerson. They are changing the perception of a community that some people may have given up on. How are they doing it? By spreading love modeling responsibility, and shattering stereotypes. Those stereotypes that come with the 46218 zip code. 
Food's on the grill, the drinks are cold, everyone is showing up to the Brightwood Community Day at the Oscar Charleston Park. Being together, smiling, having fun, no guns, no drugs, no stuff like that. Four years and a labor of love for the community where they grew up. Terry Triplett and Ivory Dewerson started the Brightwood Community Collaboration. Young professionals who grew up here and are committed to giving back to their neighborhood and breaking the stereotypes perpetuated by so much negative news. The 46218 area code is not what everybody think it is. We all went to high school together, so I just came by to support. Good I'm fine. I'm glad you're here. Even Mrs. Sam, their high school teacher from Perry Township, stopped by. Because I want them to know that I'm proud of them. I think of what they're doing is so special because there's so much negativity, but I see all the positive that they've done. Mark Booth, the founder of the Booth Foundation, also grew up here. He is now Director of Student Services for Noblesville Schools. Every year, his foundation gives out over 200 book bags stuffed with school supplies at this event. Coming back out here, you know, and being able to do this on a beautiful Saturday like this is absolutely what we want to do. And when you see the kids all lined up and ready to go, they're all excited. And it shows everybody that if we can do this right here in Brightwood, that every other neighborhood can do this. And that's what we want. We want our young people. That's our future there, so we want them to see that this is what we're doing. And it doesn't stop here. Terry, Ivory, and their board of volunteers bring families together year-round for events like this one. Toy drives, food pantries, community cleanups. They also have a mentoring program for the young men. But also to let them know that we care about them and it's not always about them getting in trouble or doing anything of that nature. We just want them to have fun. And LaTanya thinks Terry and Ivory should be recognized because they serve tirelessly, often without recognition. So today, Fox 59 and Community Health Network is changing that. On behalf of Community Health Network and Fox 59, you're being honored for the things that you do at Brightwood Community Collaboration to make a difference in the communities that we serve. So thank you so very much. You are, you are truly a hero in my eyes. Sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Terry, you're not left out, buddy. So much fun that day. You know, since we honored Terry and Ivory, they led a community neighborhood cleanup day with Keep Indianapolis Beautiful at School 51. They also organized hundreds to paint a mural here along 28th Street and Dearborn Avenue in the Brightwood neighborhood on the east side. Volunteers also worked to help put together a community garden, clear sidewalks, and pick up trash. They are not slowing down. Terry and Ivory are changing the landscape of their community, bringing hope to families and young people. Well, straight ahead, it's a woman who lost two loved ones to impaired drivers, her daughter to a drunk driver and her nephew to a drugged driver. How she is using her heartache to save lives. We'll be right back. While most of us are celebrating with our friends and family this holiday season, you know, there are so many people missing loved ones. Our November community hero knows the pain of loss deeper than most of us. I think and every parent fears getting that call, having to rush to the hospital. Pam, Pam Kelshaw's 17 year old daughter was killed 12 years ago by yeah. a drunk driver. And then just 19 months ago, her nephew was killed by an off duty police officer driving impaired. But it's what she decided to do with that pain, Brian, that is changing lives and ultimately saving innocent people. He saw all the blood coming from her head, eyes, nose, mouth, and ears. And then the doctor came in and told us they were working on her. And then the next thing I remember is him coming in and telling me that they couldn't save her. I don't want anybody else to hurt like this. It's happening 24 hours a day. You know, a lot of people just don't want, they don't want to leave their cars at the bar. Um, so they make, the, they make that decision to, to go out and drink and drive. I will never get over the loss of my daughter or the loss of my nephew. So Pam is trying to stop more people from dying at the hands of a drunk driver. 
I have never worked with a volunteer that puts as many hours in for a cause. Children grieve. People who have been arrested, convicted, and sentenced to probation are court ordered to attend a victim impact panel where I get up, tell my story, and share my videos of my, the loss of my daughter and my nephew. Last night I had crazy. They're actually getting to see my daughter from birth to the day she died and they get to see the vehicle that she died in and they get to see her face on her gravestone. It's kind of like a therapy for her. I've had people who have actually sent emails to MAD in hopes that they get to me thanking me for what I do. For sharing what cuts her so deeply, for saving me from the turmoil of being a murderer, there is a pain in my heart that recognizes my selfishness, my disregard. Those were my children I saw on her video. Only I get to come home and hug my children and look into their eyes and tell them how much I love them. So many people have been touched by what you guys have gone through. Pam, on behalf of Community Health Network and Fox 59, thank you for all that you do. Congratulations on being the November Community Mom. Hero of the Month. Thank you. <laughs> I've never done any of this to get an award. I've always done it just to try to make people aware of the consequences yeah. of drinking and driving. Mm -hmm. so I've never done anything like this. I can tell you that Pam was genuinely touched, and you actually may remember the story of her nephew, Jesse Sperry. At the last second, Jesse put himself between the steering wheel and his pregnant wife's belly at this crash scene, saving her and their unborn baby. Well, there it is, Rebecca and baby Autumn today. We were there, and they were there when we honored Pam. We also gave a special Community Hero Award to Rebecca, naming Jesse in honor of his sacrifice to save his family. So that was a special moment. Pam is now expanding her role in peer support with MAD. She's also a coordinator for the Victim Impact Panel and has recently joined the MAD Advisory Board. She will also serve on a committee for victim services. For all you do, thank you, Pam. We thank you, Pam. You know, we honored so many incredible heroes in 2015. Now we're excited about introducing you to the Community Heroes for 2016, but we need nominations. So when we come back, we're going to show you how you can nominate someone you know as a Community Hero in this new year. And once again, Happy New Year. And on this New Year's Day, we salute all of our incredible Community Heroes of 2015. Fox 59 and Community Health Network salutes you for setting the bar high, for leading by example, and for making Central Indiana better for all of us. And thank all of you for joining us this New Year's Day. We hope you've been inspired to think about what you can do to make a difference in the lives of others, not just during the holidays, but every day. We are right now gearing up to honor the Community Heroes for 2016, but we can't do it without you. We need your help. We are looking for community heroes who go above and beyond to make a difference, to give back, or simply to overcome life's challenges. To nominate someone you know as a 2016 community hero, or to see any of the stories from 2015, go to fox59.com slash community hero. We definitely want to hear from you. And Brian, I want to thank you on behalf of Fox 59. Thank you to Community Health Network. Thank you to you for joining us in this incredible effort, for your commitment not only to our community heroes, but for your commitment to Central Indiana. Thank you, Fanchin. Uh, Happy New Year. Yeah, that's and right. thanks to Fox 59. Happy New Year to you as well. Mm -hmm. And on behalf of Fox 59, thank you. We are proud to partner with Community Health Network. I read every single nomination, and everyone who was nominated mm -hmm. this year is a community hero. We salute all of you. Make sure you look for our Community Heroes of 2016 every month at 6 o'clock on Fox 59. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.